Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 19th of 2019. Well, it is titled Along the Western Veil. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of what is known as the Veil Nebula. And this is an example of a supernova remnant. And here we're seeing just one portion of it as it expands out into space. Now a supernova occurs when a star explodes and then the outer layers expand out. And if we actually could look at the entire Veil Nebula, you would see other parts of it in other portions of the sky. So this is a star that exploded a long, long time ago and has had a lot of time to exp expand out into space. And we see other supernova remnants, of course, if they occurred more recently, the remnant is still much more compact than this. And this one has now expanded to a size where if you could see it with the naked eye, it would cover three degrees or six full moons within the sky. And the intense energy of the supernova is excited these gas and we see these gases glowing very strongly. Now, as we continue to look, this is actually divided into a couple of parts. So the nebula is actually identified as several different nebulae. And the one towards the top of the image here is often known as the Witch's Broom Nebula for its distinctive shape with the handle of the broom on one side and then spreading out on the on the other uh, out towards the right there. And the one down below is known by a couple of different names, including Pickering's Triangle, and that's the lower portion of the nebula. And it's also sometimes known as the uh, Wilhelmina Fleming's Triangular Wisp, as she is the astronomer who actually discovered this in studying the sky, and is also the astronomer who is, was responsible for kind of starting our classification system of stars. We use a classification where we use use a letter to define them. And she had first classified them by how strong the hydrogen lines appeared within their spectra. So she had classified them as A, B, C and D stars and so on. And that was reclassified later by another astronomer. But she also did a lot of studies in terms of um, looking at and discovering a lot of nebulae and also given credit for discovering the very first white dwarf star uh, back in back in the early 1900s. So a very early discovery of a white dwarf star, which is something that is left behind at the end of the life of a star like our own sun. Now the Veil Nebula is beginning to fade as said this is a, an explosion that was seen over over 5000 years ago here on Earth. And if we look at the entire Veil Nebula, it's not circular anymore. Parts of it have faded out as the energy has been lost as material expands out into space. And that will continually happen. And eventually this material will become parts of other clouds that will become seed material for the new generation of stars. And each time this happens, that supernova is what produces all of the heavier elements in our bodies. So as this expands outward into space, it is taking those heavier elements, things like iron, out into the out into the rest of the universe and give, making them as seed material for future generations of stars. So that was our picture of the day for September the 19th of 2019. It was titled Along the Western Veil. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.